everyone, welcome to Nick Max Corner. <laughs> I'm Nick, wearing my wisdom robe and in a corner. Today we're going to talk to you about Hater by David Moody. Um, this book was fantastic. I walked by it in chapters there one time and noticed that on it. And I was like, hmm, that's neat. Picked it up and kind of flipped through a page or two of it. And I went, hmm, maybe. And then I just kind of walked past it because I was at the time looking for Chuck Palahniuk books. Uh, that's who I was reading at that moment. And so I went back again for another Chuck book and I walked by and this was sitting there just like that all over again. And I went, hmm, I should really pick that up. And I did and I brought it home and I finished it within like two or three days. The chapters are super Super easy and short. They're like around five to seven pages long. They're not really that long. You have one chapter that's following Danny McCoy and the other chapter that follows the haters. Now to explain this a little bit better, the haters are sort of like zombies, but not quite. In my mind, it's an evolution of people um, either you have evolved or you haven't and if you have evolved you have an instinct to kill anyone who hasn't evolved it's pretty crazy and intense like these people just go berserk on people who haven't changed and it's really interesting and a whole different level of zombie story because zombies are mindless they just come for you where haters are intelligent, they're still us. They still have our thoughts. They're just compelled to do something, whether they like it or not. So this book deals with how London is dealing with um, the haters and slowly how it's becoming a pandemic. Because first you see it on the news and then you see it outside your door and then it's in your home and then it's just everywhere. and. This book is so fantastic. It's a trilogy. He's making a new trilogy that's come out. I read the first book in it. Wasn't as happy with it as I was with this series. Because this series, he did something quite amazing that I don't know if you could replicate it. And I mean, his new books are great. They're just not as fast paced because these ones were like running away from the haters it was a run it was a marathon when you ran this book you didn't really stop because it was a page turner it was fantastic his new one we'll talk about in another video was less of a page turner but still very good um i was quite a fan of how the book evolved you get to see his family could see his wife and children, his father-in-law, um, and they go to dinner and stuff. And when they're out at dinner, the haters start doing their thing. They get all scared and go back home. It's a very interesting take, and through the eyes of Danny, it is quite fantastic because we get to learn more and more that we don't actually see a whole lot of. Um, I was pleasantly surprised when I picked it up. Um, he did a fantastic job. Like, how can you take a zombie genre and then change it so it's not even zombies anymore? And that's the best thing about it. Because it came out at a time when Walking Dead just kind of hit the air. So everyone was going crazy for zombies. Um, and it just changed the whole dynamic. Also, another thing I love about it is the cover underneath the sheet is nice and red. I love it. Um, and it was optioned by Guillermo del Toro, and he hasn't done anything with it yet. 
and I really wish you would because this trilogy made into two or three movies would be fantastic. You can even make it one movie probably between the whole trilogy. Hmm. No. Three movies. Um, just to do it justice. This one will introduce you to the world. The next two kind of give you the story. And I think that's what needs to happen because I think it could do well with the good resurgence. Zombies edits. And this book would definitely bring about a great resurgence that had that's not like anything else. I felt like this book was quite awesome. There's a part where the carpenter is working outside on a house and he just turns, he evolves, and just goes nuts on the homeowner that he's working at. And I remember reading that and just being like, wow, that was just like a wild ride. And it was phenomenal, but it was so exhilarating to read because he does such a great job at putting you where you need to be for the story. In conclusion, because I don't want to give a whole lot away on the book because it's not crazy long, I want to keep the surprises for you to enjoy. Um, this book was fantastic and I feel like it doesn't get as n enough recognition as it deserves. I haven't heard a whole lot of people reading it and David Moody has his own following. Um, he is an excellent author. He also wrote the Autumn series which is an actual zombie series and I highly recommend picking this up and giving it a read. It was very entertaining, fast paced, short book and just and it was so much fun. It's, if you like zombies, that's the book for you. Alright guys, you have yourselves a beautiful Wednesday. I'm going to work. Have a good one. My good reads and all social medias will be down below. And please like and subscribe. It helps it a lot. Have a great day, guys. Bye.